Hi there and welcome to Wassel Woodworking. On today's episode we're going to be making a wine box holder. So here it is. It actually has a bottle of wine that you can put inside this holder. It's made of quarter inch MDF. It's done on the CNC, put together like a puzzle, and then painted the color of your choice. In my particular choice, I cut out a, made a cut out of the state of Georgia in it, but you could do it any other state or any other um, cut out you wish for that matter. And it's a fun little project and it's great to take as a uh, housewarming gift to parties. So hope you enjoy seeing how this is made. So starting on the table saw, I take the MDF and cut it into two pieces. All these pieces are gonna be identical because I'm gonna flatten the same place on the CNC. Uh, the reality is I made a bunch of these, but these were the first two that I did. Now we're on the CNC and we're watching this uh, much faster than normal. Um, so I've got it clamped in the same place. I have a backer board, some old pegboard. I do that so it won't cut into the table. As you can see a couple of lists where I've done in the past, I really don't want to have to do that because I don't have any board on there that I can uh, toss away when we're done. And the last thing I want the bit to do is hit one of the uh, nuts that allow the clamps to hold things down, even though they're recessed slightly. So it's running through and it's uh, making its rounds around the first uh, part of it. You can see it cut out the Georgia, the hole, the recess where the handle will fit into. You'll see more on that later. And now it's cutting the second one out, uh, including the dados at the bottom that allow it to hold the uh, bottom piece in it. And it all snaps together like a puzzle. Even though I'd love to glue this up before I paint it, I need to paint it first. This helps uh, with the sanding, and also I can't get into the center once I paint it. So I'm priming it here, and then I'll go back with uh, color my choice to go on top of that. And I, of course, I prime both sides. In this project, I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch two-time Ultra Cover Paint and Primer, even though I've already primed it. And this is in cranberry, which I thought was kind of like the color of wine. So that's why I've chosen this. I'm going to spray the inside before I glue everything together. Now I'm spraying the cranberry on. This goes on well, but it's gonna take two or three coats to really look good. So you might as well make them light because it'll take too long to dry otherwise. So now glue has to be applied between each of the tabs and uh, just takes a bit of time putting on each. So I'll speed through this rather quickly. <laughs> Once the glue's been applied to all of them, now it's just a matter of pushing them all together. It really goes together like a puzzle because that's what it is. And the glue is all that's required because the way it goes together, there's no concern that it's gonna fall apart later on, even though you're gluing over paint, which isn't the best. But in this case, it works out just fine. And the last piece uh, goes on and snaps in place. Well, you know the old adage, you can't have enough clamps. So in this case, I'm using all of my six inch clamps to ensure that that glue joint is nice and tight and they go on very quickly and it takes about 30 minutes to dry. So now it's had an hour or so to dry, so I'll take the clamps off. Now to paint the outside, I take the spray paint and I run a total of three coats. This is the first coat going on and then I'll come back and do two others and leave, let it dry very nice overnight. Otherwise it becomes a little tacky so you really don't want to work with it till the paint's cured. So I'm going to show you how to make the handle for this. It uses one piece of copper tubing, a quarter inch copper tubing. This is exactly four inches long. I've cut a couple of them up ahead of time. And now I'm going to take about 16 inches of this wire and this wire is the wire that's used for hanging suspended ceiling so it's cheap you can buy in huge bundles and you need 16 but it's not going to hurt to take a little bit more like that so then you take this and put it in the center grab a grab a, a place <coughs> and then using this and leaving a little bit of space in between, you basically bend it to size to get a nice uh, crisp angle there. Don't forget to slide this in place. 
And then basically, I'm going to take it, leave a little bit of a gap, and holding this, I'm just going to turn it so it gets to the right spot. There we are. You're going to square those up and make them parallel to each other. And you also want to make sure they're on the same plane. So in this particular case, you sometimes have to bend them a little bit. Now I have a, a template that's uh, four inches by four inches on here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this to grab the edge and then I'm just going to bend that in. Use this on the other side. I'm going to grab the edge of that, rotate it, and then bend that in. And this is a matter of just squaring this up and making it uh, work well. And in the end, I'm going to end up with a piece that's uh, just about perfect. So now you're going to end up uh, making little loops on these to tie in. So what I'm going to do is take this and estimate uh, using these cutters where I want them to cut put it like that and once you have this you're going to want to start um, putting a bit of a curve on and um, something like that. Do that with both sides. bend it into place and you can't have it too sharp or it's going to be hard to put in and just keep in mind that these can't have sharp little angles on them so you're going to want to uh, take a file of those to even those up and this is what's going to go in and once it's in there I'm going to use some channel locks to clamp that over and uh, this little piece of metal lies in the recess on the inside so for instance on this piece I'm going to cut it short enough to where that stays within that. So it really means that at this point it's still too too long. So I'm going to cut eighth of an inch off on that. And now as you see, if I get it in there, with the channel locks, um, I'll be able to um, bring it in tight like that and that little lip stays within that piece. Um, of course, like I said, you still need to smooth it up a little bit. So straighten that out so I can put it on the final product. And that is how you make a handle. Okay, so now I have the handle and this uh, still got some of the masking on the inside. But I'm going to take this and show you how this goes inside. So it's, it's, it's uh, looking good, but the piece still protrudes in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the channel locks with a little piece of metal. Oops, I got to go get that. All right, so I brought back a little piece of metal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have this uh, channel locks, open them up, put the little piece of metal on that, and that allows me not to damage the inside when I squeeze this um, shut. And uh, by clamping it in there, it really uh, helps hold it, ensure that it's not going to come out. So now I got to do it with the other side as well. And so, in the end, when you get that done, it's fastened on there and it's not going to come out, and the bottle of wine can still fit in there very nicely. That is ready, finished product. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this fun little wine box holder. Uh, this is a fun little project. I've made many of these. In fact, I have three or four in production right now just so I can stock up, put them in the closet so that when we go to parties, we have something to take. I've even gotten a few requests to uh, put different other schools on it. Uh, and they're symbols from a Razorback to a Yellow Jacket. So we'll see how that turns out. So if you like this project, please subscribe today. Click the button below. Put your comments below and tell me what you liked about it. And I'll see you next time on Walsall Woodworking.
Also, click on these other videos. You're going to love these videos and subscribe here today. Um, I have all these videos that come about once every two weeks and if you click the little button when you subscribe, you'll get a note saying when I send them out. It's about once every two weeks. So anyway, click, 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 click. See you next time. Thanks for watching.